Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here for the Solo Coder. Today I'll be talking about thick skin. So what is thick skin? Thick skin means that you are not easily upset or insulted by someone criticizing you. That's basically it. But why is that important for a solo coder? Well, let me start with a little story of my own. That was back 2007 when I started this business unit, this company, and we had a big influx of clients. It was a web development shop, big influx of clients, never had run my own business. And all of a sudden I saw myself with my small little team, with a bunch of clients screaming at me, saying that the projects were late and pressure was really building. I just stopped and I've cried. I cried like a baby. That was the first and I can say the last time that I've cried in my life for a business reason, for a, with a, a business motivation. That was the first and last. But again, I stopped and I cried because I was overwhelmed. Too much negativity around me, too many clients complaining. What could I do? I could only walk away and try to make the, the situation better. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some uh, reasons why you need to develop that and how you're going to go about that. Clients will push you around. Clients will complain. Things will go wrong. See, as, as great as you might be as a, soul, as a coder, things can go wrong and will go wrong. You'll get rejected. You apply to, to different projects and people will not select you. You're going to get some interviews. People will talk to you and maybe you're going to be rejected. Maybe not. But that you'll come across of, of, of those things. Someone may ask for a refund. That's one of the things that I used to take very, very, very badly because I, I asked myself, why are, is this person asking for a refund? And I'm talking about our subscription services like the tutorials and even DeskPal. Why would someone ask for a refund? And I tried to understand that. But what I did, and that's what I would advise you to do and what I, I'm doing more and more. Again, this is a path. This is There's no end here. It's just getting better as you go along. Is deciding up front how you're going to react to those situations. How are you going to react to a client complaining to you? Well, I'll decide right away. I'll just listen. I'll take it in. I'll do my best to mitigate that problem. And I'll get back to him. I'll not react up front. I'll just take it in, listen, walk away. That's what I decided to do. If someone asks for a refund, okay, I'll just give it. Give it and that's it. I'll ask why they want that. That's fine. But I'll ask after I give the refund. So my immediate reaction is just give the refund. That's it. Try to ask why. Because you want to get better. You want to improve. But just give. So I decided up front how to react to those different situations so I don't get stressed out and I don't get into why, why, why I just do it. For example, somebody will say that this video sucks. So I have to have thick skin to go through that and hey, that's okay. You will be extra hard on yourself as well. How do you handle being hard to your to yourself. As usual, things will not go as well as you have planned. So you develop a thick skin over time. Understand that this is part of your personal growth, of your business growth. Understand that what's going wrong, you know, someone screaming at you, yell at you. It's just, it might be just part of, of, of natural course of, of doing business. Let me tell you, I have not had clients screaming at me for a long, long time. So I got better. It, it's really cliche, but what doesn't kill you, make you stronger. That's it. Recognize that this is a temporary issue that you're going to go through and start to recognize that, hey, this is one of those temporary issues again and again and again and again that you go over and you get better and it will it will resolve itself. Now, you have to be proactive and resolve it, but it will go away. My recommendation as well is have someone that you can vent those things, that you can talk to, maybe a colleague, maybe a peer, maybe someone that is trying to do their own business as well. That's the reason why I think that the, the, the peer network, creating uh, some sort of a, a mastermind group with one or two people, it's 
good because you can vent those those things to those people and they will understand that. It will get easier over time. There are very few things right now that makes me cry from a business standpoint. Actually, there's nothing from a business standpoint that will make me cry ever again. I can handle pretty much anything that gets thrown at me, but I've cried. That's it. Question today is, sometimes do you feel that you're going to break down and cry? If so, how do you go about doing that? That's it for now. Thick skin, Slack peeps, let's keep talking, let's keep interacting. Not ready for the user group on Slack? That's fine. Comment in the Facebook comments or in the YouTube comments. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.